I love it when people just give us stories um, like that one. Um, the last time we were in Australia, a lady up in Brisbane gave us the story of her um, grandmother's arrival in Australia, um, a lady called Isabella Smith. And uh, I started working a song out of that, but um, then I went to sleep and I forgot about it really. But I've had, <laughs> it, will, it will come, it well, will I'm sure come. it will, dear. Yeah. I'm sure it will. Sometimes songs come out of something else. We were driving along in our yeah, camper yeah. van. We spent a lot of our life in a, a Volkswagen camper van called Tallulah. Um, <laughs> She's a trident, so we call it, it's Tallulah Trident, that's where it comes from, it's quite imaginative, isn't it? No, it's clearly not quite no. imaginative. Anyway, we, we, were in, we were in Tallulah one day and we were listening to a programme on BBC Radio 4 <coughs> called Great Lives, and they were talking about the life of the author, Jack London, uh, who wrote Call of the Wild and White Fang, amongst lots and lots of other books. And uh, Jack was a bit of a lad. Actually, he was quite a lot of a lad. Quite an adventure, to say the least. He was a wreckhead. He was. And um, a couple of years before he died, uh, a friend wrote him a letter saying, you really need to sort yourself out because you're going to kill yourself. And Jack's reply was, I would rather be ashes than dust. I thought that was a brilliant line. So I stole it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I stole it and wrote this song called um, I'd Rather Be Ashes Than Dust. And we have an album called Ashes Than Dust. Excuse me. And uh, I, to be honest, honest truth this is, I went on to Wikipedia read all about Jack London and wrote it down in a song. So this is songwriting by Wikipedia, so it's bound to be true, it's bound to be true. It's all factual, you can rely on every single bit of it. Uh, if, you, if you want to join in with the chorus, please do, I'd rather be ashes than dust, and then it goes on somewhere else from that. I'm sure we'll remember it when we get to it. Uh, but, yeah. Well, Oh, 
is to Jack London wherever you are. For I love the ashes and dust to burn like a comet, but surely it must. 